and press record <laughs> because I thought I already did. Thank God I noticed that. Unless when I dropped frames, maybe it, um, no, there's nothing there. I don't know. I thought maybe when it dropped frames that, um, it canceled the recording or something. Parzival, stop. Okay, yeah. Red's home. So Z is now his problem. <laughs> So, I did originally have Z locked in here because, um, uh, we have our Christmas tree up, and I don't trust him not to get a hold of it. <laughs> so, uh, I was gonna have him locked in here, but now Brett's home, so like I said, he's Brett's problem now. So, are we ready? I think we're ready. I think we're as ready as we can be. Made some tea because my throat hurts. Um, so in case anyone doesn't know, uh, Siberia three was very, 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 very hard to get through. Siberia 3 was extremely hard to get through, and I, one, I went to apologize because it brought out the worst in me, and I was swearing, like, a lot because it made me so mad, and yeah, there was that, but it did not discourage me because the whole reason I wanted to play the Siberia franchise was because of World Before. Um... I saw it all over Twitch earlier this year, so I'm really, really late to the game. But I'm glad I played the other three, so that way I at least know if there is references back to the other games in World Before, at least I'll be familiar with it. And I wonder if it has to do with the vision. Spoilers, by the way, from Siberia 3. I wonder if it has to do with the vision that Kate had at the end of Siberia 3. Um, when they were doing the ritual in the temple, she had like a vision about her mom. So, I, I had seen Siberia World before all over Twitch, and this is where it kind of all started. So, this was the game that I was most excited about playing. And, uh, this one wasn't released until earlier this year. So, like, it was in, like, I think the third one came out in 2011. So if there was 11 years in between the third and this one, I'd like to think that it's not going to be broken. Uh, I mean, Siberia 3 never should have been as broken as it was in the first place if they actually had proper, like, playtesting and stuff like that. But I'm hopeful. I'm trying to stay optimistic here. <laughs> Holy cow, is it actually that warm out? Holy cow. Um, anyway. Enough procrastinating. I may as well just start. Maybe. Oh. Does this one go full screen? Oh man, why is my PC struggling? I'm dropping frames again. I'm sorry guys, there's kind of nothing I can do. This game has an automatic saving system. Please do not turn off your computer while the symbol is displayed. Okay, I can do that. Adjust the gamma slider until you can barely see the left logo. I can't see anything in that square at all. Until you can barely see it. Let's go right there. I think that's good. So 
the only thing that, in my opinion, Siberia 3 had going for it was the soundtrack. It has the same motif! Nice! Okay. There were vocals in the main menu of the third one. Um, but not this one. Oh! Start a new story? Sure. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Like, I feel like they tried really hard to make Siberia 3 pretty, and I wonder if maybe the issue was that the engine that they used couldn't handle it. You can see the red veins in her eyes. That is a detail that didn't have to be there, but they did it. I wonder if they used mocap. It doesn't really look like it, but it also does. Does anyone know if they used mocap? That has no business looking so good. And also the lighting, like, just, oh my god, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna gush if this game is gonna be so pretty this entire time. The third one was still pretty, but I think they tried a bit too hard to make it pretty, if that makes sense. Previously, oh, hey, if you didn't play the past three games, there's, um, you can click previously and it updates you, I guess. But we played the other games, so I did at least. <laughs> so let's hope y'all know what we're getting into. Spring 1937, a young woman runs through the streets of Vaughan, the capital of a small Central European country. Her name is Donna Rose, and she arrived on time for an... And she must arrive on time for a very important event. Oh, it doesn't... Oh. It's not letting me go to my other monitor. Ooh. It locks me in. Okay. In loving memory of Bonnet Sokol. Oh! So that must be why there's 11 years between the two games. Maybe they made this one in honor of the writer of the original Siberia's? Maybe? Oh, yeah, I have a bandit on my finger. That's probably just in case you guys saw that. An automaton drives the train! Or tram, sorry, not train. There's a difference. Enon Zer. I do wonder what that title means. <laughs> or Strahl's Capital. Okay. Click to move. Okay, just like the other Siberia games. Oh, oh. I need to hurry. Frau Beckmann said she will be waiting for me on the square at the top of the main street. Oh, she can't go this way. Can I double click for her to sprint? Like in the other games? No? Can I use the arrow keys? No, it's not letting me use, my, use the arrow keys. Oh. 
objectives. Objectives, not objectives. <laughs> Uh, Dana's Diary, the 23rd of May, 1937. There had to be an important event for me to begin this diary, so the big day is here. I've been chosen among all the students at the Music Academy to play the swan song, the hymn of Vaughn. I think that's pronounced Vaughn, or Vaughn? Vaughn? I'm not sure. On the main square. Uh didn't sleep last night feeling terrified can't even bring myself to play that beautiful melody again before leaving what does it matter anyway my fate will be played out later today at tw at 12 15 precise there's always a big crowd on the square for the occasion oh wait what time was that oh no that was 7 30 that was this whole thing was 7 30 in the morning 8 30 in the morning uh Got butterflies. Couldn't eat a thing for breakfast, even though mother ma mother made her delicious chocolate and apricot. Uh, I it, it's it's hard to read in cursive because I haven't read cursive in a long time, and I'm not sure what that even says. It's some sort of cake <laughs> that I usually adore. My parents won't be coming to see me. They can't leave the shop on a day like today. It's the it's the best day of spring? Oh, it's the best day of spring for realtors. Or retailers. Realtors. <laughs> Wait, is, does it say? No, it's retailers. Okay. And anyway, perhaps it is better this way. I could not, I could not bear being disgraced disgraced in front of in front of them should I fail to make the grade uh, 10 a.m. mr. and mrs. Zimmer have arrived they come they come more and more often these days it's always for business though father keeps saying to whoever will listen that there is no such thing as too much business in times like this while the men get down to dealing with this with the study, Mr. Zimmer is an art dealer. Mr. Zimmer helps mother in the shop. So, um, sorry, my leggings are bothering me. <laughs> For some reason, I can't read today. Um, I don't know if it's because it's in cursive and I haven't read cursive in a while, or if I just can't read today. It could be either, let's be honest. Um, Frau Beckman. So, because I'm pretty sure that's Frau, as in, like, the formal, or not formal, uh, it's German. I'm pretty sure, like, it's like the way in English we say Mr. or Mrs. Um, I can't remember what the masculine of it is, but for women, it's Frau blah blah blah. My brother took German in high school, and his German teacher's name was Frau Baker. Um, or like in French, it's Madame and Monsieur. Um, so Frau Beckman is expecting me. She's, yeah, yeah. She's the rectors of the academy. Better stop writing. Don't forget the notification. Kiss parents. Jump in the first tram. Now off you go, Dana. <laughs> So is this my invent inventory? Oh, yeah, inventory. The hymn score and the convection notice. Observing objects every angle will give you useful information about their about their origin or use. Right click to rotate the object and move the cursor with your mouse to select the areas to invest to areas of interest. Okay. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. My convocation notice from the Music Academy. I have to give it to Frau Beckmann once I arrive at wow. the square. That was very... Uh, she had, like, a French accent when she said the name Frau. Like, I don't know, do, do the R's get pronounced like that in German? With the weird throaty thing?
Him von Vohen. <laughs> uh, there. Oh. Aha. The Himnewagen. Oh, it's Vagen. Concerto. Okay. My favorite concerto. I'm not entirely sure what makes a concerto. Big day today. Hey, Donna? Yeah. Afraid so, Herr Baumgartner. Hair. So maybe it's Frau versus Herr in German? Or maybe it's not even German. It could be like another European language that might use the same words or something like that. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, wait. Is that. Reach the main square. Uh, I want to explore. Quick read to display the text. Read. The beating heart of Europe. Cool. I cannot rotate it. It's not letting me. Uh, can you not go this way? Nope. Okay. They have me trapped. All right. So I'm assuming the square. I think this right here. My face. Yeah, no, my face is on the other side. I think this right here um is a hint system where if i get stuck i might be able to click that and it might tell me what to do and then my objective is easily ac access accessible here my inventory is easily accessible here and then the main menu is here cool options tutorial objectives that's fine video that's fine ultra Titles are on. I've been reading the subtitles, haven't I? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, vibration. Oh, if I was using a controller. Oh. Move or run. Wait, I can run? How do I run? Game. Maybe I'll learn. Move and run. So I can, aha, I can click and drag with my right click to move the camera. Yeah, I can't double click. She doesn't sprint. Or maybe she just isn't going to sprint in this tutorial area. Ah. Double click to accelerate movement. I did that. Oh my goodness, they must all be waiting for me on the square. But we're exploring, Dana. I explore in video games, okay? She's very soft-spoken, and I kind of love that. Secondary objectives. Throughout the adventure, you will sometimes be given secondary ob objectives. There is no obligation for you to accomplish these objectives, but if you do, they will lead you to interesting additional content and background information. Beware the active secondary objectives will be canceled if you progress through the story before accomplishing them. So stay alert and do not hesitate to get off beaten tracks. Okay, so we get side quests. Nice. Hmm. Not bad at all. I wonder if Papa would sell it in his shop though. Uh, this is not our painting. Are we just gonna take it to the shop for him for him to sell? Oh, where's the ghetto? Huh? Um, do I have to find it on my own then? Goodness, a rock? A rock? Oh no. Oh! Candles. Are you all right? None for the worse for wear. What worries me is it's getting worse every day. Oh no! That's what my father says. Never mind, eh? <laughs> Always look on the bright side. That's hard to do if somebody's At vandalizing your shop. prompted me to make some repairs that I've been putting off. Do you know who did this? I've got a good idea, yes. Good for nothing hoodlums. 
Oh? I see who you mean. They only feel big and strong when they're together, though. Right. But people like that can be dangerous when they're driven by an ideal. There was a bird Especially freaking out in the background behind her, and <laughs> I almost choked on my tea laughing at it. And they hold no love for Vagarans, that's for sure. Mm -mm. Mm. I have to click, and then, okay, it's kind of like a, um... Uh, like, Until Dawn, how you had to, like, move the controller in the direction that you want. Is she Vagaran, too? Let's just, I, I don't want to, I don't want her it. to make something up about oh, herself. Never mind. If she's not, you we know. We must all make do with our lot in life, huh? Yeah. I'm sure I'll get by. Besides, what choice is there, hmm? Ah, uh, enough talk of nastiness. Ah. I see you're carrying a music case. Would you she be is? the lucky young lady who is to enchant our ears this year? I am. Um, and I should go. It's nearly time. Well, Wait, she doesn't have anything on her. congratulate <laughs> you first. Music is one of the few pleasures left to us nowadays. So... Thank you, Fraulein. Thank you for spreading it around. Would you like to do me the honor of writing something in the cement before you go? I'll oh. I'll add the date like they do in Hollywood. <laughs> it's all the rage these days, you know. It's all the rage well, these I... days. Unless you're worried, it would make you late. Draw a clef. Ooh, that'd be cute. Draw the... Vagen Swan or her initials. I let's draw the cleft. I think that's fun. All right, I will. Here you go. Like what? The tribal cleft? Leave a trace. Oh, I got an achievement for that. A oh no, she drew cleft. the base cleft. Drawn by the hand of a budding virtuoso. Very fitting, considering what awaits you on the square. Thank you, mein Herr. So if she... I really should go now if I don't want to be late at the Music Academy. I wonder what instrument she plays. I'll be listening from here. Thank you. Goodbye. Because there are certain instruments that play on the bass clef. Okay, it just saved. Um... There are certain instruments that play on the bass clef. Um, and then other instruments that... Play on the treble clef. Um. Well, she does have a bag with her. But I don't see what instrument she's... Like, he mentioned something about an instrument on her. And she's not carrying an instrument. Um, uh, but I do wonder what instrument she plays. Um. Is it that late already? How oh, Beckman will kill me if I don't get to the square on time. But I'm exploring, Dana. Um, I mean, I guess she could play piano, which has both a bass and a treble part to it. Damn bloody Vigaran. The National Socialist Party of Ostertal. I think that's what Papa calls the brown shadow. Nothing but jobs in uniform, according to him. I'd better not hang around here. Oh! Okay! Okay! <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about that, so all I can say is, okay? <laughs> Like, the music was so intense, and... Oh, I think this is the lady waiting. Good grief. No pressure. I didn't... Huh. I wonder how I was supposed to do that side objective. 
And I wonder if it was actually time-based, like, if I could have been late to this and gotten Dana in trouble. Hmm. Guten Tag, Frau Beckmann. Guten Tag. Ah, Frau Line Rose, there you are. A few minutes more, and you would have been late. Please excuse me, Frau Beckmann, but uh, I was delayed on the way. May I have your convocation notice? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, why? <laughs> just give it to her! <laughs> Imagine if she just asked for the papers and she just walked away. Uh, oh, I've got a... Thank you, Fraulein Rose. Now, remember, performing at the annual spring concert is a great honor and rewards the best music academy student of the year. So it is imperative that you show yourself worthy. I will do no my best. No pressure. Man. The piano is ready. Okay, it is piano. Make so. this day yours, mm -hmm. Dana Rose. Oh, it's Dana, not Donna? Or Dana? What was I saying? I think I was saying Dana. Why is this guy frozen? <laughs> so it's Dana. Okay, I kind of like that. Doesn't matter if I like it. That's her name. Actually, when I was a kid, there was a boy I knew. Um, it was like a daycare place I went to, and he went to it too. His name was Dana. My sister always made fun of him because his name was Dana. She always say Dana was a girl's name. You can change the orientation of the camera by holding the right click and moving your mouse. Yeah, I figured that out. Okay. This was actually... Get the piano ready. Okay. This was actually something in Siberia 3 that I always forgot that I could do. Was move the camera around to see more of the environment. Wow, I can really look around. Okay, so what's this? Goodness, there's so many all right, Dana, we got this. Walking the entrance of St. Cecilia's. St. Cecilia, the patroness of musicians. Oh. Shouldn't really say this, but may her spirit guide me. Come on, play something then. Oh, good grief. I'd better get started quickly. No. I'll start playing when I'm ready. This is a beautiful clock tower. Oh, my God. I freaking... I love, like, just the way everything looks. It'll be all right. Like, it'll be all right, Dana. You'll not make any mistakes, and they will come out of the tower. Oh. My y-axis is inverted. Oh, no. It's kind of like a... Okay, never mind. It's fine. I can figure it out. Oh, look at this. There's the, um, Vorlberg symbol right here. All right, is that all I can examine? Oh. Once I've activated the piano, everything will be ready to go. Um, I think I was saying something and then I forgot. Oh, um, like, the whole, the whole look of this game with, like, the automatons and, like, the gears and stuff like that always makes me think of like steampunk style when i wouldn't say that this game is steampunk style but it really reminds me of it and i love steampunk style so like this game like i said was what captured my attention to the siberia franchise in the first place so um like this excites me manipulation the icon is displayed when you can manipulate the selected object Select the marker, oh no. And maintain the left click while moving the mouse in the appropriate direction. So it was moments like this that my cursor would disappear in Siberia 3. Please don't happen again. Okay, maintain the le left click and, okay. So I click and drag. Oh, I don't think I pulled it enough. Yeah. Everything's there. ready. That's All I easy. need to do now is arrange my sheet music and begin. Okay, I think I can do that. Oop. Okay. Deep breath. Even if you mess up, no one's gonna know. Just have fun. Oh, 
I get to, okay. Oh, I saw bits of this before. Like, while it was all over Twitch, I would drop in on some streams of people who were playing this, but I kept dropping out because I didn't want it spoiled because I wanted to play it myself. But like, playing the piano is actually winding up the other automatons that make it look like they're playing instruments themselves. Yeah, you can see the gears. I, I don't have a cursor and I'm pointing at my screen like you guys can see it. Wait! They actually play? There's no strings on that cello! What? <laughs> they don't have legs! Also, she's like wearing a mask. That one automaton is like wearing a mask. She said they'll come out. She must have been talking about the automatons. Oh, there's more up there. Oh, what's that? A, is that an oboe or a bassoon? I always mix them up. I think it's a bassoon. That's a, actually, I don't think that's a bassoon. It looks bigger than a bassoon. I really liked that. What's with that clock? Why is the one over there? Also, did it have the zodiac symbols on it? I think I saw Sagittarius. But I only got a glance, so maybe I'm just making it up. Oh, I didn't read that, sorry. <laughs> I have no idea what it said. I'm so confused as to who these guys are like they don't look like characters from previous games or anything you can consult your diary to get a reminder of previous events the diary also gives you access to your objectives and to the documents or inventory okay I can't decide how I want to say an inv inventory Katusha Use introspection to review the situation. Okay, hang on. Seeking Kate Walker. Nick Canton's report? You guys work for Canton? Yeah! That's Canton! And there's Kate. Olivia Foster. Oh, wait! Olivia! That was Kate's friend! The one that slept with her fiance. Dear Miss Foster, Mrs. Foster, 
she was married and she slept with Kate's fiance. Nice. Although it might not be her. It could be a completely different Olivia. Because I don't think the Olivia that I remember from Siberia 1 had a last name. Um, we have not had the pleasure of meeting. My name is Nick Canton, a private detective. Don't you mean New York's greatest detective? Or whatever he called himself. He's so freaking conceited. Um... A few years back, I was asked by the law by the law firm Marson and Larmont, which is uh, where Kate used to work, to find Miss Kate Walker and bring her back to the United States. As you will know, she is wanted by the police for alleged misappropriation of funds. Yeah, she technically didn't finish the documentation of the Vorlberg estate, or something like that. It was just paperwork crap. Uh, the pursuit of your friend has been hectic, to say the least. Indeed, I fear it has affected my mental health. I ended up being the victim of a serious accident and now find myself in the Valsambor Clinic. Valsambor? Valsambor. Hmm. I know that sounds familiar. Was that the place in Siberia, too? Where we found the Yuki. Uh, where I am con... Whatever that word is. I can't read it. Uh, this is where the parcel you sent to Kate Walker landed, landed up. Your address was written on the back of the envelope. I am, giving, I am given to believe that Miss Walker was among, the close, was among your closest friends. Yeah! So it is Olivia! Which is why I am writing to you. I should explain that I am no longer mandated by anyone to find the young lady. However, I must admit I am still keen to carry on with my mission. My sole objective be my sole objective being to try to warn Miss Walker about all the trouble she keeps getting herself into and if possible to persuade her to come home. Nevertheless, I must admit that as I write this letter, I have no idea of her whereabouts, especially since my long con convey convalescence has meant that I have that I have lost track of recent events. I like to pick up my investigation as soon as possible to find your friend and hand her your letter. Sincerely, Nick Kenton. Oh, this is a letter Nick wrote. Valsambor Clinic. Wait, no, that was the clinic in the in the third one, wasn't it? That has to be. But Valsambor sounds like something from the second game. Valsambor, Vorlberg, Valletta Lane. They all start with V, and maybe I'm getting them mixed up. <laughs> I hope this letter finds you well, Miss Forrester. I am pleased to inform you that I have managed to locate the Yukol Nomads. They were escorting Miss Walker the last time I met her. Baranor! They told me that despite the sacrifice of Oscar, the automaton, to protect her, she was taken prisoner by a dangerous local fascist Militia, jeez, uh, after, after almost a year of laborious investigation, sorry, it, the cursive has me a little bit messed up, uh, this trail has allowed me to localize Miss Walker with near certitude. Yeah, Olga Efimova and her lackey with an eye patch. I don't remember, I, he has a name, I just don't remember it. She's detained in a salt mine. This mine is this mine is in reality a labor camp owned by the by a con, cons, consori, consortium of mobsters. Wow. And neo-Nazis. Wow. <laughs> in search of 
vestige vestiges of past grandeur of their nation. Holy cow, that was really hard to read. I have just arrived in the region as I expect the mine guards refused to hand Miss, Miss Walker over to me. They even pushed back my attempts to bribe them a bit on the a bit on the right side though. I must I must admit due to my deplorable finances uh, the guards nonetheless assured that assured me that she was well. For some reason, they burst out laughing on mentioning her close relationship with her cellmate and the way in which the two young women protected each other. Her cellmate. Okay, so this has to be information from after Siberia 3 because she was taken, locked up in a labor camp with a cellmate that she apparently developed a close relationship with. Okay. Cool. In return for the small amount of cash I could muster up, the guards promised me that they would give the parcel to Miss Walker. In the meantime, until I find a way of getting her out of this hornet's nest, I have no no other choice but to believe them. Aww. Oh. This must be her, uh, cellmate that she bonded with. Okay, so I have a... Katyushka. Katyusha. Um, I have a side objective. Oh, introspection. What does that mean? God, another day of hard labor. Oh. What are you gonna do now, Kate? Kate? Jeez, can't believe it's been almost a year since the militia sent me here. Gotta get out, move on. Wait. Well, that might be. How, though? That's supposed no to be Kate? Outside, nothing. Does anyone even know I'm here? For Christ's sake, someone must be looking for me, mustn't they? Mustn't they? Oh. Oh, could you imagine being locked up somewhere and, like, you don't know if there's someone looking for you? Like, or if someone's worried about you. That's Kate? Her hair is gone. To review the situation. Okay, so that was just like her uh, thinking everything out, I guess. Read. Cell section three, cell number 31. Occupants. Katyusha? Katyusha? That. I'm not even going to try. Um, and Kate. Yeah, this is Kate. Holy cow. She looks so different. And they changed her voice actor, which didn't help either. Uh, code of conduct. Con bleh. Code of conduct. The color assigned to your team must be visible visible on you at all times, both outside and inside your cell. Any non-compliance will be punished. The salt extraction quota must be filled every day. Any non-compliance will be punished. The extraction of ivory and or patriotic relics must be reported to a site staff member immediately. Any non-compliance will be punished. You must respect and obey your section manager, but also the entire site staff. Any non-compliance will be punished. Meals and rest are privileges, not entitlements. Any abuse, therefore, will be considered a non-compliance. Any non-compliance will be punished. Each cell is, is granted a, pri a privilege of five liters of water a day. Any abuse, therefore, will be considered a non-compliance. A non-compliance will be punished. Ugh. I could not imagine being somewhere where someone else had control over my, like, over my basic needs. Sleep, food, and water. Those are basic things that every human on this planet needs to survive. And for someone else to have control over that, that is terrifying to me. But I'm, I'm a bit of a control freak, so. <laughs> but no, that's extremely messed up. Oh my god. Let's go check this out. 
What's this? Guitar pick. Ooh. It says Beast. Katusha's punk group. Katusha's. Would love to have seen them. Katusha. You know, I don't understand, like, when people get fancy picks like this. Like, when they color them or whatever. Um, because, uh, oh, it got added to my inventory. I just saw that. Um, because, like, when you strum, like, if you color on it, it's just going to wear off. Like, your picks wear out. And yes, I know, because I play guitar myself. <laughs> Pushkin's poem. All right. Oh, in the depths of the, of the Siberian mines, keep your proud patient. Wait, keep your proud patience. In the depths of the Siberian mines, your sorrowful, sorrowful labor and great ambitions of your thoughts will not be wasted. Hope, the faithful sister of misery. Ooh, I like that line. Jeez. Uh, I really like that. I don't know why. That line just... <laughs> Hope, the faithful sister of misery, will wake up your courage and amusement in the dark underground. The desired time will come. Love and friendship will come to you through the somber gates as my free voice reaches you in your miserable holes. Uh, I didn't like that line at all. <laughs> Heavy locks will fall down, prisons will crash, and freedom will greet you gladly at the door, and brothers will give you the sword. Alexander Pushkin. Okay, is there anything else I can look at? No? All right. All right, I did my side objective. I'm glad I did that. Let's see if I can, oh, I can mess I with this. I better freshen up first and see how cut you she is. I'll pick up my gear after. Oh. Huh, better not hang around getting ready. Simona isn't the worst guard here, but best not get her back up. Oh, I think we're being called into work. All right, let's check on... I can't remember how to say her name. Sleep okay? Like a bear. Yeah, I Like heard. a bear? Better get ready, Katusha. Katusha. Mm, I feel like I've been run over by a tank. Today's the day we're supposed to take over from Team Orange in Gallery C, right? Don't remind me. They say it's really tough. Isolated with no rescue party on hand. Which is crazy, because it's the worst gallery for cave-ins. Not only did Kate, Kate's hair get cut off, but it's also black now. Her hair was brown. Maybe it's just dirty? You okay? Sure. Digging in a salt mine 12 hours a day in the hope of finding a fragment of ivory? Couldn't be better. Don't let it get to you. Maybe I'm a fool, Kate. Maybe they are just dirty, cause like- Maybe I should have listened see to it's, my See thoughts. how it's like smearing down her head? If I had stayed in line in the National Choir like a good little pawn instead of forming an anti-establishment punk group, I would not be here now. Huh. I'm glad I've got you, though. No. Listen, Katusha, we're going to get out of here, right? Yeah, right. If you say so. Wait, did they change Kate's voice actress? I Now I wonder, because that line sounded like her. We should get going, Katusha. I mean, what if the guard catches us slacking off when we should be ready? Who, Simona? She's no altar girl, but she's not the worst around here. True. But I will be ready in time to leave. I just want to get all the rest I can. Katusha's hair, she pulls it forward, and then Come Kate's, on, she pushes back. Better get ready. It's so cool how that changes okay. the way everything looks, you know Five what I mean? Five minutes, no more. Da? Da. Huh, okay, um. I know that her relationship with her was considered close. And I wonder what he meant by that, because... I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but, like, if they spend extended periods of time together, 
at work, like, working and in their cell and things like that, like, I wonder if they're, like, romantically involved. Because that wouldn't be uncommon to happen when you're spending that extended period of time with someone else, you know what I mean? But, like, when she, like, leaned over on her shoulder, like, I mean, I get it. Some people can be playful and do that with their friends, and it doesn't have to be romantic. But it could be. And I wonder. I could be really wrong. <laughs> But yeah, like, her hair was brown in previous games. Oh. Oh, okay. I just had to click. I was like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> um. But in this one, it's, like, black. Um, and I think it's just dirty, because if you look at the sides of her head, like, look there on her forehead in the mirror, you see it, like, smearing down. And I, I, I think that's, like, dirt, sweat. Some people has greasy skin. That's probably build up of that. Oh, that's actually a really cool shot. <laughs> Watching the guard walk by in the mirror. Better not forget your good luck charm. Don't think I've ever seen you again. That's all I got left. Is it Oscar's heart? It's gotta be. <laughs> it is! <laughs> you back I miss him there's all Oscar's data inside I was lucky enough to steal it from the militia soldier who picked it up at the frontier between Baranur and the Yakast I just need to find a compatible body for it that is if I ever get out of here Aww. she just wants him back again I'm pretty sure they threw it at the end of the game. Like, they threw it onto the ground and there's, like, broken pieces on it. <sighs> My heart hurts now. <laughs> Don't forget your gear. We'll need it in Gallery C. Stay close, Katusha, okay? The music. Team Blue! Hey, you've got mail. It's for you, Americanska. Americanska. Thanks. No stalling you here. I... You got five minutes to see what's inside. Or else a less friendly face will come to get you. She doesn't seem all bad. Her walk cycle, though. That, like, wow. She was, like, walking like a penguin. Music box? Oh wow, that's really cool. Look at the way the light refracts off of it. So pretty. This melody stuck with me throughout my childhood. I remember even my mother couldn't find out what it was called. Swan. Isn't that the symbol of that place? I don't know the song that she played on the piano that well, so I can't say that this is the so that this is the song. But just cuz it's in the game, I think it's the same song that was played that Dana played on the piano at the beginning. It belonged to my mother. I used to play with it when I was a kid.
So it doesn't wind up. It just, but that's a strange music box, actually. Olivia Foster, New York. What could she have sent me given our dispute after my leaving with Hans? Yeah, she literally slept with your fiance, man. I wouldn't want anything to do with her. Strange. What? August 23rd, 2003. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time for you to make preparations to return to New York. What just happened? What? Your mother, Sarah Walker, passed away last night at Mount Sinai Hospital. She had been doing poorly for several months and her death was no doubt a release. The funeral will take place Thursday, next week. We pushed back the ceremony so you can be with us. If I'm not mistaken, returning to the United States means you run the risk of having to answer to the law. Sometimes it's better to pay your debts to society instead of being forever on the run. And for once, just put aside those senseless, adventurous pretensions of yours. They've already cost you your friends and family. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Oh my god! Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. I've enclosed your mother's pendant. According to her, you used to love the mystery of its melody. I promised her I would send it to you. Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. Olivia, 212-359-1519. Okay, that hurts a lot. Okay, I... Uh... Um, well done, Donna, dear. I'm so proud of your concert on the square at the Academy of Music. I'll talk about it in just a second. I'll we should the find a pretty play. frame for your diploma. Thank you, Mother. Once you've finished your studies at the Academy of Music next year, you'll be able to start higher education at the Paris Conservatory. Won't she, Anton? Of course. Of course. Then, my darling, you'll become a great concert pianist. You make us so proud, doesn't she, Anton? Uh, of course. Uh, of course. So proud. I don't want to leave? Does she? Does she not want to leave? Be excited. I can't wait to see the Paris Conservatory, even though I'll miss you both terribly. And it's perhaps not such a bad idea for you to move away from Wagen. Times are hard at the moment for people like us. <coughs> I do worry about your health still. Thankfully, Herr Gustav agreed to take you on at the mountain refuge this summer. Oh, yes. The mountain air will do you a world of good, my dear. By the way, did you write to Herr Gustav to thank him? Oh, uh, well, I was very busy rehearsing the concert, you know. The gentleman is offering you a job, Donna. Thanking him is the very least you can do. She said Donna. Yes, Mother, I'll do it right away. Notes were added to your diary. Okay, uh... Read the documents in the shop. Um... So... Kate losing her mom. Kate's not that old. I think in the last game she was like 30? So she's not all that old, and for her to lose her mom, um, I'm not far from 30 myself, and, like, to think if I lost my mom at age 30, that, that hurts to think about. Um, uh, and then also, <laughs> it's something so stupid to, that it, it's something so stupid that it hurts as bad as it does, but in the first game, <laughs> I had like this running joke that when I got stuck on a puzzle, I would try to call my mom because 
I always, like, my mom always said, you can call me for anything. So, I, mom, I'm stuck on a puzzle help. <laughs> in the game, by the way. In the game, you could pull up Kate's cell phone and you could call her mom. And, like, <sighs> now she's gone. That's so sad. Okay, objectives. Read the documents in the shop. Let's do it. Oh, I gotta pull it out from under the books. I should think you'll be needing a pen to write that letter, my darling. Oh. Oh, this is... okay. The diploma Frau Beckmann gave me after my concert on the musical square. Thank goodness she didn't mention I almost arrived late. <laughs> what was she gonna do? Like, smack dab on... like, just, just a big red stamp on the middle of the diploma. LATE! <laughs> like, I wasn't even late! <laughs> This is to certify that Dana Rose has successfully completed the third cycle of piano education. Rectors, rectoris, that, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Head teacher, the year 1937. All right. Herr Gustav, my future employer. Oh. Thanks to this summer job, I'll be able to help Papa pay for another year of schooling at the music academy. Fraulein Rose, I am pleased to announce that I have selected your application for this summer's seasonal job at, at the refuge of the, at the refuge I am in charge of. Uh, your contract will begin on Monday, the fifth of July, and will end on the thirty-first of August. That's a little over. No, that's like two months. Pretty much two full months of um, employment. It's not bad, and I mean he's. Making it very clear how long she's going to have this job, so, cool. We expect this to be a busy period. Our refuge will be wel will be welcoming a group of scientists who have come to tr who have come to train in the mountain before they leave for an expedition to the east. Uh, your daily duties will mainly consist of serving a meal, serving of <laughs> your your daily duties will mainly consist of serving at meal times and co contributing towards maintenance maintaining the refuge my god i cannot read today <laughs> since i read since i read on your curriculum vitae that you are a student at the academy of music i will also ask you to perform on the piano some evenings that makes sense um in addition you will be fed housed and laundered throughout oh, throughout the duration of your work bruh Free meals! Bruh! <laughs> I'm looking forward to your arrival and wish you an excellent end to the school year. Gustav Renner, manager of the Silber Spie Silber Spiegel Refuge. What is a refuge? She made it sound like it was like a resort. Alright, I need to find a pen. Did, was that? Read the documents. That apparently wasn't the documents I was supposed to have read. Let's get you behind the counter and see if I can move the camera around and find stuff. Which is something, like I said, I always forgot to do in Siberia 3. <laughs> I think her dad is a painter and he sells his paintings. Obviously, that's what a painter does. Maybe they're in here. Oh, come on. Come on. I was having the same issue with that that I did in Siberia 3. No, please don't fall apart. I am invested now. Ugh. The 28th of May, 1937. Dear, Aunt, My dear Anton, I'm, I've received the painting... Give, Zimmer. Wasn't that someone in Kate's diary? Or... Maybe I'm mixing up the two characters. <laughs> I've received the paintings. Given their quality, I can only congratulate you on getting them as, at, at such a good price. I can already tell that they will find a buyer amongst the American clientele, and we will get a return on our small investment very shortly. On a more personal note, I wanted to whoa, I wanted to thank you 
and your loving Lena or Lena, maybe it's Lena, for the message of support including included with your package. The doctors seem optimistic about Miriam's recovery. Oh, they think uh, they think she should be back on her feet this summer. With each passing day, I am even more amazed that such a strong woman did me the honor of becoming my wife. Oh. <laughs> However, I will not hide that I will not hide from you that we are both terribly downcast. Despite Miriam's medical history, the that char, char, charlatan of an obstetrician had left us with serious hopes that this unexpected pregnancy would turn out well. Oh, so she's ill and she's pregnant? Okay. Okay. Wow. Um, although it was really hard for us to take such a final to make to take such a final decision, we decided not to run the risk of being met with further disappointment in the future. This concern concerns Miriam's health, and it must be said, the mental health of both of us. I imagine that all there is left for us to do is to learn to live with the idea that we will grow old alone, Miriam and I without children oh she's not wait uh, that the unexpected pregnancy would turn out well but it, they they sounded like they terminated the pregnancy huh <clears throat> Um, I'm not sure what all that meant, actually. I might be interpreting something really wrong. In such circumstances, my dear friend, you will understand that every day God gives us, we wonder... Wait. You will understand that every day that God gives us, we wonder about the expediency of, rem of remaining here in Ostrathal. Ostrathal. <laughs> While the sound of the brown shadows boots can be heard more and more in our streets. Oh, the brown shadows. She mentioned that in front of that one shop. That made me really uncomfortable. <laughs> Miriam and I would perhaps be safer on the other side of the Atlantic, where, as you know, I have the benefit of strong professional relationships and some well-placed friends in New the New York art community. In any case... In any case, please know that your and Lena's support went straight to our hearts. This further this this further proof of the unwavering loyalty that birds that birds are two households has been the only ray of sunshine for us in this particularly somber time of our relationship. Thank you both again for the renewed expression of our of our honest friendship. Yours truly, Adam. Is that everything? I think that was everything. Is there more? <gasps> I can open the drawer. Oh. I can't it's open the stuck. drawer. Papa really ought to tidy up. I mean, can't sh can't you move? Okay. Maybe that's just the game telling me don't, <laughs> don't just don't. I got a pen! Yay! Hmm. Maybe I could use it well, to actually, write my letter pencil. to Herr Gustav. Just just maybe, Dana. Just just maybe. I ought to put these away before I lose them. I'm pretty sure I know this piece by heart now, anyway. <laughs> I mean, after a while, like, it just kind of becomes muscle memory, and... The Hymn of Wagen, my favorite concerto. Uh, I'm still missing this side objective. Painting! I can't flip it or anything. Uh, I don't think I want to exit. I do want to have a look around, though. Like, It says read the documents. And oh, there's more stuff over here.
I'm gonna wait to talk to my mom, cause... Oh, I need to write the letter, that'll progress. Papa, could your pen be around here somewhere? Uh, could be, I suppose. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for the next time that it saves, because, um, I wanna exit out of this and... Vorarlberg automatons. These machines are incredible. Oscar. Um, but you've got the pen. Yeah, I saw that. I <laughs> I just found the pen before finding that dialogue, I guess. Um, but no, I wanna I wanna close this out and I wanna do something with my stream and I can't do that. I I am actually locked into this monitor. It's not letting me off, so, which is nice because when I would click off of, when I would click off of the other games, they would break, so, like, but I want to do something with my stream and stuff, um, uh, but I can't right now, so I need to wait for it to save again. Vorlberg Manufacturing, automaton factory, made in France. Are you, are you the happy owner of a Vorlberg automaton? Remember that they are guaranteed for life. For any requests for a replacement, re repair, or refund, please write to us at the address indicated on the wayward on the warranty card. Who are we? Located in Vallada Lane in, in, the Fran in the French Alps, Vorlberg Manufacturing are the cutting edge when it comes to pre precision mechanics. Our state-of-the-art automatons are renowned throughout Europe and embody both the quality of our work and the respect we show our customers. We think all of our creations must have the have that extra little something that will make them unique, a genuine extra bit of soul. Vagen and us. Oh, Vagen. Although we, Vorlberg Manufacturing, pride ourselves on having close relationships with our customers, we maintain an even stronger relationship with Vagen and its people. Why are we so close? During one during one of it, one of his travels, our visionary chief chief engineer Hans Vorlberg discovered a, a Vagen that had been devastated by a notorious terrible fire. I was reading so well and then I lost it. <laughs> Mr. Vorlberg was moved by the situation, so he made our factories part of the effort to rebuild and mechanize the city. Restoring its eternal beauty will, while propelling it into modern mod mod modernity thanks to the latest automatons from our workshops wow that word didn't want to come out <laughs> these were all very interesting readings but i should get back to writing the letter now oh that was what i had to find get cross okay real quick let me do this just real fast it just saved i promise you we're gonna get right back into the game <laughs> No pen here. <laughs> She's still searching for the pen. <gasps> okay. So, oh, hey, this pen. Papa's pen. Perfect. Okay. I picked up a pencil and apparently that wasn't good enough. Um, so I'm actually getting really anxious because these interaction bubbles were how um Oh, I need to read the diary, too. The, the diary was, uh, updated. Um. Papa is so untidy. <laughs> but no, I'm getting really anxious because these interaction bubbles are, um, they were in Siberia 3, and these bubbles were what caused my cursor to disappear on me. Um. And, God, I don't want that to happen again. Please just don't let that happen again. Oh, yeah, there's Zimmer. That's where I, uh... Is expecting me... Oh, I read that. Um, concert went like a dream. What a relief. Feeling more confident now, that now than ever. Feeling more confident now than ever to apply to go to the Paris... That. Just one more year at the Vagen Music Academy. Then my journey begins. My journey to become a concert pianist. My dream. Uh, I remember what it was like to dream. 
I had a big dream when I was when I just graduated high school and I was really wanting to pursue it and I had the opportunity to pursue it and um, it all really fell flat and got blown up in my face and it's a really depressing time and I don't want to talk about it <laughs> even though I was the one who brought it up <laughs> I can help my parents pay for the tuition tuition fees thanks to the summer job I've managed to land at the mountain refuge of yeah mountain refuge I, I like it sounds like a um like a ski resort is what it makes me think of uh it was Adam Zimmer's father's Adam Zimmer father's friend who put me in touch with Air Gustav the manager of the refuge who sent me a letter of employment so my journey begins Oh, I can talk to my dad. Let's Grand talk to puppet. my dad. I'm busy right now. Did he just call her puppet? Okay. Mom? Don't forget to be very polite towards Herr Gustav. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try the pen. I bet the pen's out of ink. Um. But I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. Also, if you're writing... Oh. It's not out of ink. Uh, let's just be friendly. Dear Herr Gustav, I would like to thank you Pit for... Here, you oh my god! Don't, 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 Donna. It's too dangerous. Oh my! What in the name of... Who could have done such a thing? Like, they're not hurting anything. The filthy thugs. Jeez. Oh, there's something Dana, tied Dana, to no, it. No, no, give it to me, please. Oh my goodness. Frame drop? Yeah, that was a pretty bad one. At least I didn't lose you guys. Earlier, like when I first started stream, it was dropping up to 50% of frames. You're here? Great. What is it? What does it say, Father? It's nothing, Dana. Nothing but spite. Will they ever leave us in peace? Come on, Lena, my dear. Hey, what is Lena? Come on. Look at me. Don't let it get you down. Huh? Or we'll both end up in Paris with Dana. Is it Dana or Dana? They say both. Take a peek at the note. Aw, Mom. Aww. So, like, there's what's called the... What are they called? Brown boots, I think? Is what they call them. And they, like, are terrorizing artists in the city. I don't know why. Oh, wait. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, it's in German. Piss off out of here, you filthy Vagarins. Uh, Horrible. That's exactly what he said when he threw the brick. <laughs> you got three views. Keep it up and you get emotes, right? Yeah, Twitch wants me to maintain three viewers, um, on average, across the span of 30 days, I think. Oh, we're back to Kate. Cool. Makes me so sad that this is where Kate is. Like I both Kate. love Kate and hate and hate her at the same Come time. On. We need to get to work now. Hang on. No, you know what? Get over it. You need Kate, you need to grieve. Please grieve. Like they'll beat you up if Simona finds you like this. 
Can't stop this. You can't change the past. Now come to work before you get us both killed. That's it. I'll get started working now. You push the cart closer and come dig next to me, okay? I I'm swear. Sorry, but we'll have all night long to cry. I swear they used the same character model for her as Kate. <laughs> All right, more reading, let's go. Just a quick word to let you know that I went back to the mine today to try to buy Miss Walker's freedom with the money you raised with your husband. So Kate's collecting the letters that Canton is sending to, um, Olivia? Unfortunately, though, they refused again. It seems the militia preferred to punish Miss Walker for standing up for the Yukol nomads than to receive any money. As it as as if that isn't bad enough, another bribe enabled me to get confirmation of what you and I feared most. Miss Walker apparently broke down on learning about the death of her mother last year. Last year? The fact she missed the burial service really cut her up. Even her cellmate can do nothing to bring her out of a deep depression. I fear she will die of grief if we don't quickly find a way of getting her out of that unhealthy place. That was a year ago? Wow. Wait, can I go this way? I cannot. Ooh, I can check An this ivory side, fragment. The guards grant benefits to anyone who finds any. But I couldn't give a damn now. Okay. Why do you no sprint? there huh I don't really know what else I can do about it maybe I need to get a pop cover for my mic that's the only thing I can think of gonna mess with this for now i want to see if i can find more of those voices all dented <laughs> fitting metaphor for all of us in here oh. kate come i need a hand over here but there are voices calling to me i must investigate the voices Brakes locked? Brakes are on. <laughs> what a surprise. I was gonna say, that's the only thing I can think of as to why it wouldn't move. Oh god. That also... The fact that they waited to, for the service so that way Kate could... So, I th so that way Kate could be there and she still wasn't able to make it.
This is the guilt eating her alive, isn't it? You weren't there. This is what my head sounds like all the time. Take out your anger, Kate. Let it out! Swing it! Hard! Okay. <laughs> that was very dramatic. <laughs> she asked for you. She was scared. I've been here. Oh my god, I've felt you this before. Her heart. You deserted her. She died. Get angry, Kate. I didn't see. Hey, look! Come on, let's go and see. Why wouldn't you go investigate? That's freaking cool! <laughs> that could be our ticket out of here. Let's check it out. A train? Talk about a throwback to the first one. Oh my god. Inquire about the train? This looks familiar. I'm not sure why, but it looks familiar. Where did they come from? Must be something oh. to do with the train. Automatons, I think. Yeah. I was going to say either that or their corpses. Oh, wait. Can I? Oh, wait, no. Okay. This carriage is more luxurious than the other ones. Maybe a dignitaries? More bodies. Looks like they were shot dead while they were- They are corpses! Oh my god! They were shot, she said? Looks like it was caught in a rock slide decades ago. Crazy to think that no one's found it. Until today. So wait, go to, yeah, okay, so that's progress. I can investigate the train. 
You're going to ha start having flashbacks, Kate? Ah. I remember that train. Siberia 1 was really good. Another body. It's a real trail of carnage here. Why does... Jeez. It's got a gun in his hand. Jeez. Yeah, he has a gun in his hand. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a... That was a bit morbid, I'll be honest. Kate, what are you doing? There's a dead body inside. Leave it alone. You'll bring us bad luck. You get back here. Don't tell me what to do. Hmm. Still looks pretty strong. Use? Ah... Okay, I don't have any sort of key for it. Um. Hmm. I wonder if there might have been a key on the guy. I'm gonna go find out real fast. I'm really scared to go off monitor, even though it has me locked into my one monitor. Oops. I don't know if I want to go back and see that body again. Oh, okay. I can't go back. Sorry, Katusha's waiting for me over there. Deep. Can't even see the bottom. Yeah. And it means the tunnel on the other side is cut off. Must be the way out. I can see the light at the end. How do we get oh. across that? I'm sure there's a way. I mean, if you guys Follow want out bad enough, you'll, an you'll figure out a way out. Direct cam character control. You can hold down the left click and move your mouse in order to take direct control of your character. The character will then automatically follow the direction you are pointing. Oh, I knew that. I've been doing that. got a different different camera angle now this this cave is reinforced by those old structures it must have been meant to shelter trains and for a long time oh. this game is very pretty oh my god so the train was supposed to be hidden in this cave but it looks like it all went wrong after the rock slide when these men were executed Kate. If there's the slightest chance of escape, better seize it. It's too late to turn back now. This cave is reinforced uh. by those old structures. Oh. Must have been meant to shelter trains. I can't for a dialogue. long time. That's kind of annoying. Oh my god, I'm dropping a lot of frames now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Kate, come! I need a hand over here! Kate, come! I need a hand over here! <sighs> yeah, I don't know what to do about the dropping frames. I'm sorry, guys. Because my internet is fine. And 
Actually, I think it's connected now. I'm not entirely sure, though. If we build up enough speed, we should be able to use the height difference on the edge of the precipice as a takeoff ramp to get to the tunnel on the other side, and then get to the surface. Sure, that is if you can get the thing started. Don't worry about that. Back in the days with my band, I always used to repair our old van on tours. Okay, but wait a second. First, I want to take a closer look at these bodies and maybe figure out what happened here. Oh, that's, um... They were shot. In the back. Same as those over there. Looks like Second World War uniforms. They belong to the Brown Shadow, the fascists who triggered the war before they herded up and massacred millions of innocent people. Um. It says to look around, but I can't really look around a whole lot. We'll take a gas. It looks as if they were headed for the exit tunnel. It's like they were ready to head out. Looks like they were in a hurry, judging from their position. I feel like you're jumping to I some fast conclusions. I wonder how a bunch of World War II fascist soldiers ended up here. Right, and who killed them just as they were about to ride out of here. One thing's for sure, though. We've got to give this motorbike a try. What? What are you saying? You mean you want to jump over the ravine? Exactly. But That's what she said before, wasn't it? Check. They must be somewhere inside the train. You go and find the keys while I take a look at this motor. Will do. You'll be okay? Don't worry, love. I'm sure this beauty and I, we're going to become best friends. <laughs> that little eyebrow twitch that she did. <laughs> find the keys to the motorbike. Uh, the, uh, why do I feel like it might be in one of, on one of these corpses? Search the area, kid. Can't go anywhere without that darn key. And now I'm allowed to explore. Cool. Are you just gonna say you don't want to go see the body again? Oh, maybe not. If you get stuck, you can listen to a hint by using the question. I knew it was a, a hint. Wait till the gauge is full and click the button. Sorry, whoever you were, but I need to do a quick search. That must be the shooter. Ooh. Oh, okay. Nothing interesting here. Okay. Cool. I don't think I can make any use of that. Okay. Good to know. April 5th, 1944. I will be nothing more than a sack of bones by by the time you, whoever you are, read this letter. Every day I have learned to be ever faithful to the fatherland and carry out my duty in the name of our illustrious leader. I would not have wa wanted it any other way as per my orders we have, we have managed to accomplish our mission of securing the train in the agreed place of refuge hidden away from enemy hands. However, due to a landslide, we are cut off from the exit, dun exit tunnel, so we are condemned to remain in here forever with the train at, with the train so hot, so that here forever with the train, so that high command can one day retrieve the secrets it holds. This is a blessing in disguise as the Red Army from the Eastern Front approaches. Uh, and we will, we would most likely have been captured anyway. This way... This way, at least, our secret is safe. The troops have become um, alarmingly disheartened, and and so, to save them from betrayal and dishonor in, in their moment of folly, I have been forced to shoot them. Jeez, Christ. 
Um, for I have reason to believe that in their desperation, they were planning to try to escape on the motorbike and then run into the enemy to reveal the whereabouts of the train in return for their liberty. I have hidden the ignition key as a matter of form. It now remain remains for me to be as duty indic as duty dic dic yeah as duty dictates in the name of our leader and our homeland, so that this treasure will remain hidden until high command is in a posture to re to retrieve it. Yours, Major Christian Suter. So this brown shadow officer shot his own men and then killed himself to make sure the train was never found by the Allies. Whatever it holds must be priceless. I was gonna say, there must be something Strange, interesting. Strange, a hollow shape. There must have been something in it. Major Sutel's last drink to give him courage? <sighs> Jesus, oh God. Oh, how does this thing still have power? What? What? Brown shadow emblem? Oh! Did I call them the brown boots earlier? <laughs> the distinctive symbol of the brown shadow fascists. Many countries have banned it. That's just fine by me. Okay, before I... I want to see if I can open these drawers and find anything interesting in here. Let's search somewhere else. Oh, a pencil! I don't think I can make any use of that. But it's a pencil! <laughs> that must be the shooter. Okay, so... Yeah, I was gonna say, I bet this thing sits on top. first time. Jeez. One of the keys is still covered in blood. Must be the one for the motorbike. Uh, just because it's covered in blood? <laughs> okay. Alright. Thank you, friend. Okay. Um, thanks for the keys. That was... I mean, I kind of just stumbled upon the solution. Um, I'm not going to complain about a puzzle being Got easy. Him. It hasn't been started for too long. But lead me to it and I'll see if I can get it going. If I can just get it to kick start, we might be home free. Get on with it. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. I'm gonna go search the train a little more. Maybe I'll find something useful for when we get out of here. Sure. 
There's that lock on the one train car. Yeah, okay, I was... The key to the carriage. Yeah, that's what I wanted to go and check out. But then it said I gave the keys to her, and I was worried that I wasn't going to get this key back. Um, I was like, where's my cursor? And I was like, no, not Siberia 3 again. It's, it's official, guys. Siberia 3 traumatized me. And I'm dropping frames again! Ooh. Um, whoa. Maybe. Okay. That was a lot harder than it probably should have been. <laughs> I meant it wanted me to keep clicking and I didn't and she fell over. Chariot's waiting. Hey, what are you? <gasps> Holy crap. Wow. This is worth a fortune. I can't believe it. This is gonna come in nicely when we're on the road, babe. Okay, I think they're I think they're definitely romantically involved. Granted, I'm making assumptions, and I don't think it's going to really affect the story anyway. A masterpiece. The Brown Shadow must have looted it during World War II. be priceless. Now I understand why the Brown Shadow wanted to hide the train so badly. There's a veritable fortune in loot here. Is there something inside it? Hello? No. Alright. Can I go this way more? Lots of paintings. Wasn't this one? I'm pretty sure I saw this one in Dana's dad's shop. It was one of the few paintings that I went out of my way to look I at. I hate to think what became of the owners of all these stolen objects. Probably nothing good, Kate. Okay. Oh, it's that one. Scroll. Oh my god. You gotta see this. Closely at the painting. Is that it? Dates from 1937, Dana? apparently, but I can't make out the signature. Cola, Coba, or something like that. Anyway, what's so fascinating about it? You mean you can't see? Take a closer look. Yeah, it's 
pretty well done. I like the color of the rock face there. Is that what <laughs> Kate. No, Kate. There. Look, it's right under your nose. Sorry, you'll have to be more specific, Katusha, because I still can't see. Look again, there. The girl. She's your spitting image. It's a painting. Well. I don't see it. Sorry, but I still can't see the resemblance. Come on, you gotta admit it's incredible, right? Either way, I suggest you put it away. We better get going. Oh, she looks so sad now. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. Um, is that it? I think that's it. I'm assuming that's it. Come on, Kate. You gotta admit she looks like you. It must be a sign. Hold it right there, girls. Oh, no. All right. You've caught us. But take a look inside this carriage. The train is full of treasure. We can all escape with, with tons of it. Just, just look. Don't move. Listen to me, Simona. You've always been good to us, so why can't we help each other now? We'll be stronger together. <laughs> sure. You've been nice little prisoners. I have nothing against you personally. But why can't I keep the treasure for myself? I could leave this rotten prison. Nobody will know. I could even say you tried to escape, which wouldn't be a lie. But Simona, don't. Don't take it personally. I just need a change of life. I think you can understand where I'm coming from. No! I don't know if I'm gonna have to do something. full of treasure. <laughs> save your strength. Don't talk. You need to save your strength. No, no point, Kate. Hush, Katusha. Listen, that girl in the picture it would have been so cool to go looking for her together, wouldn't it? Nothing's changed. I'm still taking you with me. No, you, you, you gotta go. You gotta go and find out before the guards come. Find that girl, all right? Kate, I love you. Remember me, Kate. I'll close my eyes now. She'll get to live. If only I could have given Katusha the same chance. I can't take the gun. 
Goodbye, sweet Katusha. I really feel bad for everything Kate's been through now. Probably got guns, Kate. You need to go. I swear to God, if we see an owl. So where are you going? that painting no I don't think it I think it was in landscape not well she knows where she's going now She ditched the sidecar. So that painting was definitely Dana. Dana, however you say her name. Begins Flower District, Autumn 2005. 2005? About one year later. The first one took Ms. place Walker? in. What? 2001? Miss Walker? 2003? Ah, oh, there you are. There she is. Sorry, I was miles away. Please excuse me, Frau Wagner. I was trying to decipher this. Is everything okay? I found these for you. They might help you find that Müller shop you asked about. Thank you, Frau Wagner. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, dear. I'll be at the reception desk if you need anything else. Throughout the adventure, your objectives will be logged in the diary. Sorry. It 
is with great pleasure that I am able to inform you that Miss Walker has escaped from the mine. Sadly, however, according to the guards, her cellmate did not survive the breakout. That makes one more death for the fugitive to mourn. She apparently headed west toward an unknown destination. Maybe she's heading far uh, for the airport. Who knows? The plane ticket that you sent with the letter might have been, might had, might have had the desire effect. After all, there aren't any more castles in the sky for Kate Walker to go searching for, are there? Dear Miss For Foster. Uh, thanks for the information in your last letter. It should allow me to get back on track. If Miss Kate, if Miss Walker was last seen in Vagen, then Vagen is where I'm heading. Oh, we get to run into Canton again. I can hardly believe I've been searching high and low for almost a year now, from East to Central Europe, to pick up Miss Walker's trail. She seems to have kept away from the main highways and cities, but there have been numbers of sightings from country from country people and and misfits. They mostly speak of a mysterious foreigner in in few words. Apparently, her only goal is to make her way westward, crisscrossing minor roads on her old motorbike, only pausing for short breaks to do to do odd jobs to pay for her next tank of gas. She apparently doesn't bond with anyone and never divulges her motivations the witness the witnesses un unanimosity un -an confer that she sent spends moments of moments of rest listening to her mother's music box that uh you sent her and contemplating some strange paintings it didn't work <laughs> right guess i better start looking for shops called muller that are likely to oh i should have explored supplies. oh so what did that say uh check the three right shops that are likely to have sold the paintings case the paintings case okay so the paintings case was leather so it could have just been the general store um i think we can rule out chocolates and toffees it's probably not this one Sandals, bucks, and boots? I'm, uh, I don't know. Clockworks. I feel like that's important just because this is Siberia and we're talking about, um, uh, automatons, I guess. <laughs> I think we can rule out the pharmacy. Um, Paintings and gold. Let's... This one could do the trick, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it said find three, right? Check the three right shops that are likely to have sold the paintings case. Um, I think we can rule out the bicycle shop. The gourmet restaurant? We can probably rule that out. Elegance and chic. I kind of, like, the case is made of leather, so my thought process is, like, it could be from this, because they use leather to make boots and stuff. Um, I'm going to rule this guy out, because I really don't think so. Food and birds care. Uh... I think I can rule that out. Um, an 
antique stealer. Let's go check that one out. And I I don't know if I can actually be wrong here. Okay, so due to the fact that this is Siberia and has to do with the automatons and stuff like that, I feel like the clockworks place would be the place to go. But then there's another part of me that's like the case was made of leather. So maybe these people made it as a like custom order. Like maybe the guy asked them to make it for him or whatever. And um, I'm going to rule this out. Uh -huh. I don't know if I can be wrong. YOLO. <laughs> I nailed it for two of my choices, I think. I just need to change the wrong one. Which one's the wrong one? That one's gotta be the wrong one. Uh, so then this one? Looks like I'm almost there. I just need to check one of my choices. Something doesn't feel right. Okay, so I can't be wrong. Um, likely of, to have sold the painting's case. So, I, I, I really feel like this one is one, because it actually advertises paintings, and when you buy a painting, it comes in some sort of case. Oh, wait. I never marked this one. Could it be the general store? These three make up a good basis to work from. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can rule out a couple using the map. Oh, boy. Okay, find the three shops on the map. Okay. Oh. Wait. Okay, <laughs> what? Okay, I am looking for the general store, a pawnbroker, and the antiques dealer. I wonder if that QR code actually works. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait. E5, C4, and D3? Does that mean anything? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. E5. This shop could sell the painting case. Well, maybe. C4. I thought that would be it because the word antique is in that word right there. Antique. Uh, E5, C4, and what was it? D3? D3, yeah. Cool. I like how you can hear her shifting in her chair. And D3. Okay, so these three shops are the most likely to have sold the painting case. I need to pick the right one now. So, most relevant shop to go to, um, I'd want to say this one, because by the looks of the map, this is the Times Square. But yeah, and th yeah. So this was where Dana started at the beginning of the game, walking down this 
this path and then she got here this is where the piano is and then there's saint cecilia so this has to be it the district seems like it's changed a lot since when the phone book came out looks like the pawnbroker i found is no longer in business I think she's gonna say that's not right. Feels risky to put the Muno shop in this district. It seems to have changed a lot. Maybe I should explore my other options before making the final call. An industrial estate. Difficult to imagine an art supply shop could have prospered here. The shop I found in the phone book must be a hardware store or something similar. Okay, and what about this one? The antique shop from the phone book is located in this district. Looks like it's full of similar stores. So do you want to go to this one? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No doubt about it. This antique shop is probably my best shot. That doesn't add up to what I already know from living the other- from l playing as Dana. just need to get the painting from my room and I can go and show it to the antique dealer. Okay, it did just save and honestly I kind of wish I wouldn't have done the whole phone book puzzle, but it's okay. All right. So, um yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Um wow, that was quite the intro actually with uh the information about Kate's mom and then what happened to I can't remember her name. Kashka Kayashka. <laughs> I don't remember how to say it. That was quite the intro. And then Dana... Like, I knew you played as someone in both the past and the present. And... Because I've seen bits of the game before. But, um... Makes me wonder, like, how they correspond. And I'm assuming it has to do with... I'm sorry, I'm moving my mic. Um, I wonder if it has to do with the title being... A world before because um it's like maybe Kate is going to live like the same life as Dana like Dana's the world before I don't know maybe I'm jumping to conclusions but so far the game is not broken it, there were a couple of times where like the cursor just wasn't cooperating but I think I'm still just kind of learning it and getting used to the controls. Um, yeah, I'm into it. And the, the, um, and the story has me entranced already. So I'm excited to see it.